everybody. This is Cooking with Mam Talks. I'm Kathy. I'm Anna. And today we're cooking a very, very special recipe from a very special place. This is my cabin. It's up in the mountains of uh, Angeles Forest in California. And the name of the cabin is Paris in the Pines. But today we're cooking from Mexican. Mexico. <laughs> Mexico in the Pines. Um, we are going to be making a strawberry salsa dip. Cannot and wait I'm to so try excited. This. Yeah. And even more exciting are these tomatoes are from my garden, from the tomato mania so we went to. Beautiful. You can even taste one. They're they're like different colors, orange and this very light yellow mm. and the red. I, I mean these they're are so good. gorgeous. Okay. I'm gonna try the yellow one. Let's get cooking. So we're gonna start with Mm. Three cups of chopped, it said seeded tomatoes. I don't want to see them. What are we making? Oh, I said. You did? Yes. I was trying she to. She wasn't listening. It. Okay, it says three cups. I'm gauging this is how oh, many I want. Oh, those are beautiful. So we just need to chop these up. Um, and I don't think we need to make them really small. I would say maybe just chop them into four. Okay. You know, this is kind of like doing our own thing. Is there another knife that we could both have? There is. I'm trying to get her to do something here instead of standing. It's pretty. That's usually my job. <laughs> yeah, my tomatoes from Tomato Mania are out of control. So I'm trying to think. And these have been washed, right, Kathy? Of course they've been washed. Hello. Who do you think you're dealing with? Kathy, I, I knew. I just want to make sure everybody yes. knows. Everybody knows that everything is washed and cleaned. So we're going to just sit here and chop away. I'm so excited. It's just, it's just strawberries and, and tomatoes, and it looks beautiful. So far. So far. So it? far, so good. If you just put, like, salt and, and vinegar on that, would that taste good? Salt and vinegar? Mm -hmm. No. No. You need all these other good things. So while you're doing small, that. you're cutting the, the strawberries. Like this. Yeah, it's very yeah. small. And then from this, we're going to do a half cup of an onion. Again, I'm, I'm really bad today. I'm not measuring everything like I would normally do, like perfect measuring. Yeah, she's doing the Anna style. Yeah, I'm just kind of like, this is about right. So we're going to do that. Um, this is a big onion. I did not. Didn't you bring your chopper? I did. I'm going to use it in a minute. Oh. I love this thing. I love, it's, it's loud, but it gets the job done. So we're going to do that. Look at us here. You should see out the window, you guys. It's just beautiful trees. You can see the mountain. I'm, I'm hoping to see a bear. I want to see a bear. I see a bear? I don't want to be next to the bear. I just want to see it from afar. As a matter of fact, I got a call once from my neighbor up here. She lives here most of the time. And we don't. We just come up on, on whenever we want to. And one of my kids had been up here and left the window open. Oh, left, geez. Uh, and I got a call from her because she says, you know, A, they fine you, which I did not know. They fine you if you leave a window open? Yes, because bears get in. Oh. And so they don't want any bear getting used to food from the cabins. So okay. they want you to always Keep your windows your closed. Window closed. Yes. Okay, so this is my chopper. And it's going to be loud probably for a sec. If it's too loud, I'll just cut it out. So hang on. So, what um, brand is it? I'd have to look and see. So now I'm putting the onion in. Oh, you guys, this is just like, <gasps> I can't wait to taste it. It's Cuisinart. There you go. That is fabulous. I'm going to get myself one of those. Do they have a Amazon. quieter one, I wonder? No, they're not quieter because you have to pound it. And it's just easy if you're doing a few things. Okay, so while you're doing that, then we need... Half cup minced cilantro. Now, now can you use parsley? Because I'm partial to parsley. Um, I would imagine you can use anything you want. Mm. I'm not a big cilantro fan. I'm going to put a little in. I'm I don't think either. I'll do half a cup. I think I'll just do a little bit. How's that? Yeah, I'll I'm not a off a few. big fan. Although, you know, I eat Mexican food and it tastes great to me. Right. But so I'll just put a little bit in here just, just for fun. Okay. And now this is the part I am not doing, and I'll tell you why. I'm only, it says one to two jalapeno peppers, seeded and finely chopped. I'm not doing this because one time, not knowing any better, I opened up a pepper, got the seeds out, 
not knowing that on my fingertip mm -hmm. there was jalapeno juice. Oh. And I burned my mouth so incredibly bad it was like because you touched close to the emergency room visit. It was bad. Wow. So my friend told me to drink milk. I will cut it for us. You will do it. You do the deed. Now, do you want this whole pepper? It says one to two peppers. See, and you know what? That's a big bowl we're making. Right. So I will do that. And then you, oh, you can do that. You can do the. Well, I gotta seed it first. Now, aren't you afraid of getting that juice on you? I'm gonna wash my hands. And that will take it off. Yeah. So I just didn't know to wash my hands. Probably. You can use the chopper. You want to try it? See if you like well, it. Well, only if after I take it. Yeah, get those seeds out of there. And then I'm going Put to. Put more seeds in there. I was going to wash it. Oh, it's okay. It's already washed. No, that's not what I was going to wash it. Oh. Are you I gonna was going to wash it so that I would get all the seeds out. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I don't want to burn myself. But it's okay if I do. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. So there. So <laughs> So now go for it. You can go ahead and pound that away. Next, we're going to do a third of a cup of a don't throw this out. Sweet, I'll use it somewhere else. sweet yellow or orange. You could even do red, but I think they say orange. You've got some pretty color in there. So a third of a cup, whatever that's going to look like here. This will be pretty in there. Just add the color. This is fun. This is like a cook, an actual cooking show today. You know. Okay, so let's do this. This is a really good knife. Okay, here we go, sorry. We want some lime juice, and I don't know exactly. I'm just gonna take one lime, and I'm just gonna do some squeezing in. And then, Anna, we need a quarter cup honey, if you wanna add that. A quarter cup, huh? Yeah. Okay. So you can kind of gauge it if you want. I don't know. But first, I gotta wait for it to Uh oh, where'd that little bag go that had my right cloves here. in it? Ah, just minced garlic. Minced garlic. Four garlic cloves. I cheated and bought the already minced cloves because it's. I used to have a lot in my house, especially the, the already minced. minced. Yeah. Okay. Honey, quarter cup, honey. <laughs> Quarter well, cup's a good amount. I know, but it's not going down. Well, just hold it for a while. While you're doing that, I'll put in a teaspoon of chili powder. Apparently, this is brand new. <laughs> brand new chili powder. That's so, gonna make you know, it. there's a theme here because not long ago we made a strawberry salad that was oh, I'm gonna amazing. Make that this, this weekend, actually. It was okay. very good. Very I'm going to pretend this is about a teaspoon. There we go. All right. Kathy. Kathy's coming to the dark side. She's not measuring. Usually she measures it. I know. I do. Did, was that a quarter cup? I don't know. That was probably not even close. Okay. I'm going to leave this upside down. These are good. Just push it in. Oh. This is what we're doing to stir it? Yeah. Okay. And then what I'm going to suggest is you stir it up and then you let it sit for about a half hour so some of the juices can kind of melt down there. If you can squeeze any more of these in, that would be great. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. And then we'll try it after that. But I'm gonna show you how pretty this looks in a minute. A little salt and pepper. It's just chili powder. Yeah. Now you can taste it and then if you think it needs something else, you can do that too. You can also cut pieces smaller if you want that. I mean, this is kind of a do it how you want it kind of a deal. Okay. So. Okay. the best of that lemon. It's a lime. Okay. Okay. Now this was oh, some this chips. So good. All right. We're good. We're good. So I think we should just, for the heck of it, give it a try now and then try it in half an hour. Okay. And see, after we make our next good thing, let me show you guys, look how pretty this is. We'll be back. Bye. So we are back. It's been sitting for a little over 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. And shall we? Yes, we shall. Taste test. 
we're going to be honest because we are honest. Now we did put in a little bit of salt. Add a little bit of salt, a little more honey, and more chili powder. Mmm. That's it. That's it. So delicious. Look at this. This is so good, you guys. Mmm. Oh my gosh, it's delicious. The recipe will be on our YouTube. Right below in the description. So thank you so much for being here with us. Don't forget to click those share and like buttons. And our website, www.mamtalks.com. And our YouTube channel, Cooking with Mam Talks. Please share and like and watch and all that good stuff. And definitely subscribe. That helps us a lot so we can bring you more recipes from non-professionals. This is what we would do for our families. Mm -hmm. And in a beautiful place like Paris and the Pines. Thank you, guys. Have Bye. a great day. Bye.